fuck with a bang bang The proof my chain hang The queen's representative of felt like the same gang Coming from the Coliseum My BM and my BM Thinking about my family You see the state's about to free em. Pretty soon I'm on a furlough When we moving with the thorough Taking it across the bridge To meet the best of every borough Uptown, Necker Audio, Unique and Dizzo It's me, Shorty Black, Shy Lord and Steve-O Pushing past Dapper Dan Wide body, new keys First I'm swinging by the fever And from there it's 2G Gucci Link, Dookie Rope And the Nugget Bracelet Take it, boom bash, violate but naked Eat them like a Willy Burger Give a pound of AZ In New York, clap your soul Like a show in AG D-R-E-S I was born to be a vet Peace to Rugs on Madison FreeUnique.net Yeah! Uh, yo, this what it is, man If y'all don't know I'm unique From Club 2000 Make Audio the whole night This my man Dreads from Black Sea But they know Yo, man I know they know who you are they, but, You know but, what? But, but I've been on the ground for, for, for 26 years, so Yo, since you been home they know. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they Since know. Home, they know. Right. Yeah, because I had to keep quiet so I could get out because it's I wasn't one of them trying to tell nothing to get nothing. I just did what I had to do, push the paperwork, learn to use my mind, and get out there people prison. I mean, this wasn't that hard. You know what I mean? You just got to put your mind to it and know what your priorities are. And my priority was getting home to my kids. You know what I mean? Look, like my priority right now is to give back to you, the people of the community that I corrupted, that I poisoned with the drugs that I sold. You know what I mean? So I'm taking responsibility for that. And that's why I'm telling their kids, needs and nephews, uncles and everybody else that's in the game, get out the game. It ain't worth it. Yeah. Tell them. Yo, that's, you know, for real, for real. I, you know, I learned real early. I was fortunate to learn early mm-hmm. and, 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 and go on and do music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But for real, for real. Hey, tell me your story. You ain't tell me no story. They don't really know your story, though. You know what nah, I mean? Nah. I know your story. <laughs> but they don't know you your know, story. I don't so let them know your, 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 and this is not, hold on, this is not to brag. You know what I mean? The homies nah. confessing to let it be known to the youth that's watching that even Trez from Black Seat made mistakes. Without question. And broke the law. Without question. You understand what I'm saying? He wasn't a criminal. And, and one, one of the main things that is so important, especially in our community, that we make sure, we gotta make sure we give each other Tell them again. the chance to grow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To, and forgiveness. Yo, 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 for real. It's, it, 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 it's, it's beyond pertinent. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Like, like, like it's, it, it's, it's the structure of, of a black family. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. Girlfriend. You know what I mean? Saying? But now, my, my man gonna give you his story. Uh, he touched a lot of crowd that he never gave with nobody. But this that unique content that I'm gonna get because I know the brothers from the hood and the industry and all that from back in the day, that's moguls, not everybody else. I know their real history. And I know things that the regular interviewers don't know. You know what I mean? So now, tell your story, family, with your life in I mean, just to say, you know, for, for some quickness, I'm, I'm Originally from Astoria Projects, Astoria and the Bland Projects in Flushing in, in, in Queens. And uh, my father was a kind of kind of a, a big heroin dealer. I come oh. from a drug family, Vargas oh. Vaug- 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 family. I'm half Puerto Rican, half black. All right. The year I was born, my mom and my father got a crib in Astoria Projects. So we went from one project to the next project. Talk, talk to you know him. What I'm saying? Talk and, to him. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you all hold nothing back. Yeah, right. That's it. And uh, so growing up, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was. I, I, that, that was my insight as far as me. Growing up in a family that hustled, period. That's what that's what. Thirteen was a way of life. Thirteen kids. You know what I'm saying? It was a way of life back then. How you gonna feed thirteen kids when there's no job? Not making excuses, not mollifying, which is making excuses for the wrongs that we've done. Just giving you the reals that we've done. Thirteen kids. How we gonna feed them? Talk to them. You know what I'm saying? The mistakes we made. You know, and 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 of Spanish, and and this is is Puerto Rican side. They ain't much English even spoken. You know what I'm saying? They they doing what they 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 got it. So speak that Spanish and all that. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, I um, you know, it was it was a volatile situation. My mom was pregnant at 17, so um, she winds up step as she grows up. We kind of grow up together. As she grows up, she steps away from my father, meets stepfather. We moved to North Carolina. I go to high school in North Carolina. That's how I got into you know what I'm saying the music to this degree. Cause every day all I did was DJ and make rounds. Cause there was nothing else to do. And it was and hip hop was and hip hop was young. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we became students. Fist, fist, okay, talk cool, no, talk sharp cool. suit every day. My man Stan, his mom's was the coolest. We could drink our 40s and smoke our little weed, you know what I'm saying? And while we cutting and making tapes. Literally every day, you know what I'm saying? My senior year in high school. So the week I finish high school, I, I come back to New York, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in the, I'm with my family at the hospital. But I have this, this knowledge of hip hop to a degree that cats really don't know. Because every day, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Long story short, I wind up, instead of doing some of the things I probably was qualified to do, seeing the street money right in front of me and 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 and, and being attractive and me feeling like that that's 
where I'm from. This is my this is my family. This is you know like 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 people speak to me of generational mm. movement. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you know what I'm saying? So so I'm feeling like you know like let me just see what this is because. One day of that is, is better than two weeks at huh. anybody job. Wait, wait, you know no, what I'm saying? No, 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 something that's not even going to be enough to pay the rent. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, need all, you need all four months, <laughs> all, you know all four weeks <laughs> right. to add up to the rent to, to, and, back and, in them days. And we talking about a day. You know what I'm saying? Three dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? Minimum wage. That's um, what last time when I was right. on the street, it was like three fifteen was the right. highest. And you check it, 1993, December 10th. It was it was somewhere in the threes. I didn't work, so walking from Rome, wrong. I know that shit wasn't no four dollars. I mean, it, and if it was, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? knew it wasn't yeah, no four dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But everybody came to me crying. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Because they charge it. But they work. You know what I mean? Right. Only three dollars and forty five cents an hour, man. So let me get that joint on credit. You know what I mean? I'll pay your next paycheck. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, get back yeah. to your life yeah. start. Just want to give you a little something smile. Right? To say, um, you know, so I wind up jumping out there a little something. Mm -hmm. And you know, initially it's late, but it progressed quickly. And because I'm moving, I'm moving with people I grew up with, I've known since childhood, uh -huh. and family. So quickly, I'm you know, putting my perception on it. And New York creates a TNT task force to uh, to battle the crack epidemic. Tactical uh, narcotics task force. Oh, That's it. Yo. Tactical narcotics task force. I see it in the papers, but it always on TNT in my paper. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, you know, so we don't know what it means. Right, right, right. But, but you were one of the first. Right? Yo, yo, I, I probably was one of the first 300, 500 cats yeah. knocked by TNT. You know what I'm saying? Straight got beat up, eight, yo, bloody up. There were some big yo. white boys. All of them was like lumberjacks. <laughs> Word up. Yo, listen, listen, yo, I'm gonna give you yo. one. Hold that thought right there where he got beat up right there. And hey, yo, they used to roll <laughs> through the hood. Four white boys so big in the LTD, they, 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 had, they, they, they had hard stove in the motherfucker. They back in the ceiling. These motherfuckers look like gorillas in this motherfucker. I mean, when they, hey yo, when they jump out, yo, and these big they white boys, they like, dies like, like this. Brown shook when they got yeah. <laughs> like yo, like Godzilla trying to move. Boom, 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 right. cracks everywhere. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo that's what happened. Niggas, yo, I'm coming. Wrong. Like I, I, I kind of thought that I might have did something when I made the sale. I run back in. It's, and put a few things down, pick up a few things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come back down. As I'm coming out the building, they coming in. There we go. <laughs> Turn around, I make moves upstairs. No. Uh, but I'm so hyped that I run past the floor I'm running to. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Yo, you ran past I, the, the, yo. the getaway spot. I mean, you ran past the getaway car, basically. I just, I just, I just, I just knew. If you passed the floor, I mean, passed the floor, then he run past the getaway spot. He said he passed the floor. Because Explain I, how you passed the floor and you didn't run past the getaway spot. Because I wanted to turn, go around and come back down the other side. Oh, so that was a plan to take forever and a day to get to the getaway spot. I'm no, just trying to get back on. <laughs> this, 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 where I'm at ain't even the getaway spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were right. I'm trying, yeah, I'm, you try, the spot. I'm trying to be smart, oh, but I also okay, myself right. because every other floor is where you go around. Oh, I got you. No, no, I, I thought that, that that like that was the aunt house or somebody, <laughs> and you ran past it to go the long way. Like, nah, no. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> I'm gonna just let the police catch me two floors Yo. up, trying to get back two floors down. Yo. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when I go around to the other floor, yeah. I, I come out, but I'm thinking I'm the floor below. Yeah. But there's no, there's no thing. So now, you know, like, no exit, yeah, right, yeah, right, no right, right. So I gotta turn around. Mm. And when I turn around, that's the issue. But before I do, I run straight to the incinerator. Yeah. And I'm throwing joints in, the shit's explode. Wow. Mm. The pack exploded. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, the pack yo. exploded. Oh, that's <laughs> a bad feeling. Money everywhere. No, 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 no. I got money. No, no what I'm but, saying is the crack is money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah money yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Crack on the ground. Crack is money. So all over the, all over the lobby. I mean, not like all over, all over the hole. Right, right, right. But I'm like, fuck it, you know, I get within it, and, I, and I'm trying to break out. Right there at, at the door, big hill building. Shoot. You know what he said, big ass hill building. This is my word. Even then, I tried, it was probably about this much space between him and the door. Describe him. I tried to get through. I still tried to get through. Describe him so that you really know how big and ferocious this white boy is. Yeah, 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 like, 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 like big ass hill building. Big lumberjack, you know. Um, Yo, for real, up to the door, <laughs> filling the door. He's filling the door. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like they, 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 they gonna come at you, for real. You know what I'm saying? But I still try to shake him and, uh, and get by him and almost did. You know what I'm saying? Because I had him confused. Yo! <laughs> you did the uh, Iverson crossover you know, on and, George. And came at, and, 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 and came at him. We did the home road. And the back of the shorts. <laughs> Yo. 
Everything was baggy back then. Long story short, yeah. after, after they cut me up, they beat my ass. Oh, you know they're gonna do that. It's Straight not up. Right. Yeah. Yo, they don't feel it's right if they don't give you an ass whooping. Especially if you feel like you did something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. you run, but you gotta make these white boys Yo. break a sweat. Yo, you feel oh. like you did something, they about to show you. Yeah. Oh, they gonna you show you who in charge. And any one of the homies, y'all hit the comments and let them know what time it is with TNT, how they move, man. Yeah, this shit is for real. They bust my shit up pretty good. Like, I, I had this Banana Republic, uh, this, this, this base, leather baseball jacket. Mm. And in my mug, you could see the whole thing was just so, so brown. You know what I'm saying? With the darker brown. With the darker brown from the blood. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get so, so what happened? How'd you get out of that? Um, so, yeah, yeah, so long story yeah. short, I went up jumping bail, going down south for a little bit, trying to figure some stuff out. Even my crew, my crew out queen, big shout out to Lord C, Shaji. You know what I'm right. saying? Lord C, Shaji. Um, little shorty black, you know what I'm saying? Shorty black. Bowie, Joel, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the whole squad. Um, just to say, my birthday, the whole Vargas family. Um, so I want to jump in there, okay? My team bailed me out immediately. Like, yo, daddy, you know, you, you good. Don't even worry about it. I slide down south, wind up getting into some minor down there. They put me in to extradite me in 90 days back to New York. On the 89th day, they come get me. So I've been in, in the county of 89. I look like a mess. They put me in a flight in Shaftesbury. And from the flight into a green Audi, green Audi directly breaks out. And, and, I, and I'm sitting next to a little white boy person and he looking at me like I'm, I, I ain't had nothing in 89 days. Mm. I'm looking like a nut. But um, so I went on to do like 10 months on Rikers. Um, and when Gucci Rap dropped Rikers Island, oh, I, I, yeah. I was on Rikers Island. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, mm. and that must, what was the feeling? Yo, it was real. Hearing, no, hearing that while you was on the house. <laughs> no, 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 you, Yo, you know the I mean, feeling. Like, yeah, yeah, like, felt like hearing that joy on that rock. Don't ever get caught in a crime, my friend Cause this bus trip is not too adventurous And they have a nice warm welcome for new inmates Razors and shanks and sharp edge plates Foxy's will devour punk with power After the shower, it's rush hour it's, it's almost like, you know, like I'm in some shit that motherfuckers gave a soundtrack to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This shit is living out the soundtrack right, 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 right. He right. said he felt like he lived out the soundtrack That's how I felt riding out of having one of them wide body European whips like that Like I knew I was in a movie right. I got pictures of everything cause I knew I was in a movie Now we gonna get back to Rikers Island with a I got the Gucci back to Rikers Island I'm sorry sure I mean they won't give me no bail now cause I jumped bail so, yeah. so I do my whole court case from, from uh, 10 months on Rikers I wound up getting probated to a halfway house 10 months in the halfway house so 10 months, 10 months, the next year, I had a record coming out. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and like it took a lot of work from me to go from one to the other, to, to, to go to get to college, go to starting school and getting a job. And I was on lunch. And I literally, in the middle of Manhattan, walked by my little man that was in the room with me every day. And my, and my other dude's crib, you know what I'm saying? He I came up to the some music stuff. Okay. And, and, and I'm on now, where y'all at right now? In Manhattan. I mean, I'm at work in my home now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, you yeah, already yeah. did the 10 months. Tell them what happened. You got I, 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 did the 10, I did the 10 home records. I did, I did 10 and a half way house in the Bronx. And then I, I, now the I got program. my own crib. Yeah, but you had a program. Did they put you on the program? Right, yeah. Tell them about the program. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I mean, I know the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did. tell them the story. You know, the yeah. program. What kind of program it was that gave you the deal? The deal what? Uh, oh, uh, to, get the, to get the 10 the, months the in. The judge. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That was the judge. Yeah. That okay. was like, you know. Oh, you got blessed. Yeah, yeah. You oh, right, my right. judge treated me like shit. Yeah, I did. That's why I'm shocked. Excuse yeah. me for cutting the dog off. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That was the judge. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. The judge literally, you know, like walk this and you know and 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 do, and do right. That like this is really them not seeing no priors and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they work with me. And um, so from that aspect, I get a crib on 187th Valentine in the Bronx. And, and spot on Valentine. And, and I started going to school at uh, Queensboro Community College. Mm. And I get a job at Lennox Hill Neighborhood Association mm. as an office manager mm. for, for a federal agency I work with the homeless. And just before the record came out. Before the record came out. Okay. This uh -huh. is this is after this is me leaving the halfway house. Okay. This is what this, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm walking from lunch and who I passed by in Manhattan, okay. my little man from North Carolina. Oh man. I ain't seen him since we was in my man's room. That's yeah, yeah. I seen him. Yeah. And uh, you know, like he's he still doing the music. He he doing the music. He just came up there. He's like, yo, I'm trying to get it right. But um, I'm in I'm in Brooklyn with my aunt, her man, and they, and they kid in a studio apartment. So I'm like, yo, I just got a crib in the Bronx. I said it's just me. I got two bedrooms. I was like, yo, if you want, you can come crash with me. Just give me one week to live. I just moved in. Give me one week to live in it, and you can come crash with me. The next week, 
he come to crib, he got records, turntables. I'm like, oh shit, mm. you still doing this? Oh, he came ready. Right, 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 right. He came on a mission. Oh man, let's go. So, you know what I'm saying? So at that point, I'm like, okay, well, I gotta have a discipline to kind of walk a, a maneuver away that's not gonna have me re revisiting where, where I just came from. So instead of me trying to introduce him to where I'm coming from, I saw me and Cass, you know where he's at. He's introducing me to De La Tribe. Check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me Tribe before their first album. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Red Alert, you know what I'm saying, was literally, you know, like, like that's Papa Props, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like he walked, day. he walked me through that so was much. That was 2001st DJ. All right. When they had a jungle Pro, yeah, he walked me through all so right. much. Yeah, yeah, so much. Castle, I got all Lennox, like, everything. Red, red, red walked me through. Chris Lightning was, was my first manager. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm only around these cats, and and that's when I'm really about to tell my man, like, yo, like, what, what we around right now, like, yo, this is what we've been doing for a minute. Like, yeah. literally take him to a pawn shop, pawn my jewelry, hit him with half the paper in the, in, in, in the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, we pawn this now. Come on, let's go make a demo. Yeah. We go make a demo. Mm -hmm. You heard and they, what you pawn to get the demo? Jewels. They pawned the jewels to get the demo. I, I pawned the, the, the first record. <laughs> he pawned the jewels. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh man, this is deep, son. Yeah, real talk. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. I didn't even know this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go ahead and get it. Jewels, hit him, hit him with half the paper right there. And I'm like, yo, let's go pay for the studio session. And, you know, let's see what we can do. Like, I already know, you know, like, we, yeah. we just as nice as everybody else. Everybody else, I know we can make it. Right, right. So, you know, this is what we do. We give everybody a copy of all the natives. We get red, this and the other. Everybody blown away. Everybody's like, oh, so red. Or red have this kind of funky clown. God bless him. You know what I'm saying? Make a bunch of phone calls to labels. And we set up a bunch of memes with our demo. Um, yo, we wind up having a few cats interested, wind up signing with Polygram, and mm -hmm. this is what it is. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But in even making the first album, it was always important to me that, you know, like that I that I really don't advertise my vices, that I don't really promote my vices. You, you know what I'm saying? Like I might let it be known that it's something it's that, to be ashamed about. That's, right. that, 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 that's what made me who I am. Right, right, right. That right. you are. Right. Right. That's what I'm talking about. But, I don't want anybody to ever feel like to get where I'm at, they gotta go for a while. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Right, and, right. and don't judge you by your past, right. but judge you by who you are. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? So that's what it is. You know, you know what I mean? And Stay away from the drugs. Go ahead, Owen. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for real, like, you know, like, yeah, he's, he's, he's a testimony. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this is my dude before any of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, you know, like, I met him in the music, but, but, but on, on such a genuine, organic note. And we're going to get that on another joint. Yo, you know we're going to get into yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But just so they get the vibe where we at, so they know that this is all real and natural. That's why I gel together like, you know, like peanut butter and jelly, baby. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. But we're going to sign off on this one. God bless you. All right. <laughs> <laughs>